Hello everyone, to change the name of the worlds in The Sims 4, you do need Sims 4 Studio. I'll put a link in the comments section, so if you don't already have Sims 4 Studio, you can go and download it and install it. So before you start working in Sims 4 Studio to change the name of a world, you need to make sure which save file you want to change the name of the world. Just make a note of the time and the date. Sure, is that how long ago? <laughs> I played in that save file. So what I want to do is this is a save file filled with teens. So I want to change the name Copperdale to Teen Town and it will reflect here as well in the residential world. So it will change the name from Copperdale to Teen Town. So once you've made a note of the time and the date of the save file that you want to rename the worlds, you can exit your game. So now in Sims 4 Studio, you're going to go to My Projects and you're gonna find your Electronic Arts folder and you're gonna open that and you go into the Sims 4 and you're gonna click on Saves and you can sort by date modified if that makes it easier, mine sort by date modified. And I'm gonna go to <laughs> the 14th of October, 2023, which is the save file I'm looking for at 1.59, so it must be this one. Okay, so you're gonna click on the save file that you want to change the worlds, and make sure that in this drop down arrow over here, you want to make sure you're on save, not on package, not on world, but on save, and you click open, and it's gonna open this funny little <laughs> information area for you, and just click on type to sort by type, that will sort by type, Okay, so you are looking for save game data. Mine is right at the top, I'm lucky. So you click on save game data and then you're going to go to your right hand window and you're going to scroll down on this right hand side and look for neighborhoods. And there we go, neighborhoods. And in neighborhoods, move across and you're going to go edit items and we are going to find Copperdale. So click on Copperdale and all you do in the neighborhood data section on this side, you just type in, so I'm going to call it teen. You can do it, it's going to make it all caps in game, so don't worry about that. You can give a description as well, but I find it easier to type this description out in the game because you can write the description in game, otherwise you're sitting here typing in this little space. So I prefer to do the description in game. So you just change the name, whatever you want to call it, and then you go save. And don't worry about export or import, you're just going to go save again, and you click OK. And now you can close Sim4 Studio. And now you're going to go into your save file and make sure the names have been changed. There we go, we now have Teen Town. And if you go into World Select, it's called Teen Town here as well. So you can rename all of your worlds in Sims 4 Studio. So once again, click on My Projects. Make sure you have the correct save that you want to rename your worlds. Click on the save, make sure it's Sims 4 Save. Click Open. On the left hand side, sort by type. And you want to click on Save Game Data. And then you want to scroll down to find neighborhoods and you want to edit items and then click on the world that you want to rename. So maybe Strangerville can be Strange Town instead of Strangerville. You click on save and click save again at the bottom and click OK and then you can close Sims 4 Studio. And there we go, Strangerville is now Strange Town, Copperdale is Teen Town. So you don't need mods enabled to be able to rename your worlds, you just need Sims 4 Studio.